Hi there, welcome to another edition of Prof en Casa. I am Carlos Gomez and I am your teacher. Today, we'll talk about jobs, careers and lifestyles. It is very important to learn how to compare areas and to describe procedures, not only for your English, but also for your future. Good morning. Good morning. Let's start. Have you ever dreamed about your future, about your jobs? Do you remember when you were a little kid and pretended you were a firefighter, a police officer, a doctor, a baker, even a president? Well, those could be good options to choose from. Don't forget to think about your skills, possibilities and vocation. What's vocation? It is the level of interest you have towards a job. Let's talk about possible jobs you may like. Who knows? I might be the next movie star, a famous artist, or a talented soccer player, earning more money than many other jobs. But remember, the most important aspect is that you choose something that you like and makes you happy. Perhaps computers. Someday you want to become an engineer, a technician, or an operator. Some jobs have more responsibilities than others. If you're good at math, I may become someday an accountant. math teacher. On these areas, I might be smarter than a calculator. I like tourism. I would like to become a tour guide. A hotel manager. Or perhaps a chef. On these jobs, I may have longer working hours than office jobs. If you like science, maybe a biologist, a scientist, or even an astronaut, which are areas where I would be experimenting more than now. On the other hand, if you consider you have talent, should enroll in majors such as painting. Although many of these jobs may have fewer opportunities than the previous in our society. I became a teacher because I wanted to help other people. I earn less money than a superstar, but my job makes me happy every day. Let's review comparative forms. As you can see, when we compare two different elements, we use adjectives such as old and important. There are adjectives that are small words, such as tall, nice, new, short. The comparative for these words is made by adding er or are at the end, followed by the word that. The hotel is older than the restaurant. This office is nicer than the other one. Words like serious, modern, interesting, important are large adjectives. We use the words more or less before them. And don't forget the word then. Examples, studying is more important than playing video games. Calculators are less interesting than computers. The president is more serious than the clown. Some adjectives ending in Y, such as easy, funny, pretty, must change the Y for an I, and then we include ER. Again, the word than.
working with children is funnier than working with adults. Riding a bicycle is easier than piloting an airplane. Finally, there are irregular adjectives like good and bad. They don't follow the same rules as the previous. They have a specific comparative form. For good, better. For bad, worse. Working hard is better than being unemployed. Waiters have worse schedules than soccer players. Now, let's get into the process of career decision. When you have different diplomas and experience, you will build up a career. First, take your time to choose the area you want to work for. Second, look for information. Ask people with experience, like your parents or your teachers. Consider your skills and talents and imagine what kind of life you would like to have. Once you finish high school, you could get into institutes like INA or community colleges where you will learn an occupation. Also, you could choose a college major. A college major is the area of study you choose in one university where you will take different classes to develop your skills and knowledge. After some time, you will receive one diploma. Therefore, you will become a professional in the field you selected. Then, you could look for different positions in companies, institutions, or why not, to start your own business. Business is a place where you could offer your services or sell goods. Next, you check the newspaper job ads for positions. Later, you might go to different job interviews where they will ask you questions about your talents, skills, and performance in the line of work. Soon, you will receive a phone call where they will tell you when to start. Finally, serve in society well and enjoy life. To sum up, we've just studied the importance of choosing an appropriate job. Expressions to compare jobs and similar elements using comparative forms like taller, more interesting, or better than. The steps to describe procedures using words like first, then, after. I recommend you to check more vocabulary on the website of MEP. Thank you guys for your help. This is teacher Carlos from Prof. Casa. I invite you to continue watching more videos. Until next time, take care.